So the Buddha purposely talked about fire. The Buddha said, uh, the whole world is on fire. And once they heard fire, once they heard fire, uh, their ears all st stood up and uh, they all wanted to listen. Uh. So the Buddha said, uh, the Buddha said uh, that uh, the eyes are on fire, the ear is on fire, the nose, the tongue, the body, and the mind is on fire. Okay, so we were saying uh, that the Buddha spoke this Sutta to these uh, thousand ascetics uh, who had just become his disciples. Uh, and he said the world is on fire. And uh, then he explained uh, that the eye, the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body, and the mind is on fire. Why, why these six senses? Uh, because we perceive the world uh, through seeing the eye, through hearing, uh, smell, taste, touch, uh, uh, that gives the outer world uh, and the mind uh, gives us the inner world. Uh. So the world arises at the six sense doors, at uh, the six consciousness. Uh, uh. So after that, the Buddha said, what fire? The fire of greed, hatred and delusion. Uh. And the Buddha continued to explain uh, until he, the Buddha explained about anatta, this world. Uh, there is no uh, self. When the Buddha says no, uh, no self, uh, he means uh, something uh, that is unchanging, which were, which is permanent. Uh, it's not subject to conditions. Uh. But everything in the world uh, keeps changing. Uh, keeps changing. There's nothing in the world uh, that doesn't change. Uh. So because of that, uh, the Buddha says there is no self. Uh. So. Uh, after the Buddha explained this Sutta, all 1,000 of them uh, became Arahants, uh, you see. Uh, so after that, uh, the Buddha brought them to Rajagaha. And then the King Bimbisara, he saw these uh, Arahants uh, with the Buddha. He was very happy. Uh, he threw a big lunch dana for all of them. Uh, and then called all the people of Rajagaha to come and see the Arahants. Uh. So according to the Vinaya books, uh, uh, about 120,000 people came uh, to see the Buddha and the uh, Arahants. So after the Buddha had finished his meal, uh, the Buddha uh, gave a talk on the Four Noble Truths. Uh, and after talking on the Four Noble Truths, uh, according to the Vinaya books, uh, all of the 120,000 people uh, understood the Dhamma, uh, attained the vision of the Dhamma. In other words, they attained right view la, and attained stream entry, la, became Arya. Uh. So you see, uh, uh, so many people uh, listen to the Dharma. First time, uh, they can become uh, Arya if they pay careful attention. Uh. So uh, it's not that uh, difficult. La. There's another instance, uh, is the Sarakani Sutta. Uh, there was a man by the name of Sarakani. La. He was a Sakyan and he passed away. La. And after he passed away, people came to ask the Buddha, where was Sarakani reborn? And the Buddha said, oh, Sarakani has gone for a good rebirth la, because he is a Sotapanna. And when some, some people heard this, uh, they were not happy. La. They said, how can, Sar how can the Buddha say uh, Sarakani is a Sotapanna, a Arya? Sarakani was a drinker. Uh, uh, to, be, uh, to be a cause of it, uh, I say kaki potol. <laughs> so he said, uh, This uh, Sarakani uh, used to drink. Uh, how can the Buddha say he's an Arya? Uh, if he can be an Arya, all of us are the Arya. Uh. <laughs> so the Buddha's disciples came back uh, and reported to the Buddha. Uh. So the Buddha said, why shouldn't Sarakani be a uh, uh, Sotapanna? The Buddha said, uh, uh, Sarakani uh, has for a long time uh, taken refuge uh, in the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. In other words, uh, he has learned the Dharma for many years. Uh, so the Buddha says, uh, why shouldn't he be a uh, uh, Sotapanna? The Buddha said, uh, don't talk about Sarakani. Uh, the Buddha said, look at these trees, uh, these big trees. Uh, if I spoke the Dhamma to them uh, and they can understand my words, uh, even the trees also can become Sotapanna. Why so? Why cannot Sarkani become a Sotapanna? Uh, so you see here, 
the Buddha said, nah, if I teach the trees the Dhamma, they can understand, nah, they can become Sotapanna. So the way to become a Sotapanna and Arya is listening to the Dhamma. Uh, not meditation, not like nowadays people say, you must meditate only, you can become an Arya. No. Uh, Eh? Ah. But higher stages of Aryahood, nah, Sakadagamin, Anagamin, Arahan, nah, you must meditate. Nah. Nah, but the first path, nah, the stream entry, nah, you don't really need to. Nah, nah, even if you don't meditate, the important thing nah, is to listen to the Dhamma more. Nah. If you can, you buy the original suttas nah, of the Buddha found in the Nikayas. Nah. Hmm. So, okay, now there's another. Um, uh, incident I like to quote uh, from the Vinaya books, uh, the monks' uh, monastic discipline. Uh, it was mentioned uh, that uh, uh, Devadatta, one of the Buddha's uh, disciples, uh, when the Buddha was old, uh, he wanted to take over as the leader of the Sangha, lead all the monks. Uh, and the Buddha, in front of everybody, uh, scolded him, uh, said uh, he's not qualified uh, to be a leader of the monks and all that. He got so angry with the Buddha. In front of everybody, scolded him. No? So he got uh, lost face, la, uh, uh, So he got so angry with the Buddha, he wanted to kill the Buddha. Uh, so he tried a few times to kill the Buddha, he could not. La, because the Buddha is a very exceptional person. La. If the Buddha does not, is not ready to die, uh, even Mara, Satan also cannot kill him. Uh, so then, uh, then, uh, at that time, uh, uh, there was this prince uh, by the name of Ajata Sattu, uh, who had a, a great faith in this Devadatta. So he offered uh, Devadatta anything, uh, you need anything, you just tell me uh, what I can do for you, I will do. So Devadatta, he wanted to kill the Buddha. He asked this prince uh, to supply him uh, with a few what we call hitmen, uh, killers, uh, to kill the, the Buddha. Uh, so, the uh, prince supplied him with this man, uh, maybe soldiers or what. Uh, so, he told the first man, he said, you go into such and such a place in the forest, uh, this Samana Gautama is, is sitting there. Uh, uh, the, the Buddha used to be known as Samana Gautama. Uh, Gautama is his surname. Samana is an ascetic, uh, a recluse. Uh, so, he told this man, uh, the first man, he said, you go by this way, you will find this Samana Gautama there, you finish him off, uh, and you come back by this road. Uh. And then, so this first person went. Uh, then he told another two persons, he said, when this man comes back by this road, you go and kill, kill him, uh, and then you come back by this road. And he asked four men to kill the two, and asked eight men to kill the four, and asked sixteen to kill the eight. So he planned out everything. Uh, uh, so the first person went, no? he went, and then when he went to the Buddha, the Buddha, sometimes uh, he meditates a lot, uh, he doesn't know what is going on in the world. Uh, but there are always devas uh, who are supporters of the Buddha. If there's any danger, uh, they will inform the Buddha. So the Buddha knew, uh, and the Buddha was waiting for him. Uh, so when he came to the Buddha, he saw the Buddha looking at him, uh, he started to tremble. Uh, uh, you know, the Buddha has a certain kind of energy, uh, he's not an ordinary person. Uh, so he threw away his weapons uh, and confessed to the Buddha. Uh, he said, uh, they asked me to kill you, uh, uh, not that I want to do. Uh, uh. So the Buddha said, never mind, you sit down here, I will teach you the Dhamma. Then the Buddha taught him the Four Noble Truths. Uh, and he attained stream entry, became an Arya. Then the Buddha told him, you don't go back by this road. Two men are waiting to kill you. You run off some other road. Uh, so he quickly ran away. Then these two men also came. Came, came to where the Buddha was. Uh, the same thing happened. Uh, they started to be frightened. Uh, you know, when you, when you want to do something, you want to do something evil, uh, you have the conscience is pricking you, you know. Uh, you think people know. Uh. So they started to tremble. Uh, all same thing, they threw away the weapons uh, and confessed to the Buddha. The Buddha said, never mind, you sit here, I will teach you the Dhamma. Told them the Dhamma, they also attained stream entry, became Arya. And the Buddha told them, you don't go back by that road. Four men are waiting to kill you, you run off the other way. Uh, so the same thing happened. Four men came, listened to the Dhamma, became Arya. Eight men, sixteen men, all became Arya. 
Uh, so you see, it's not so difficult uh, as some people think uh, to become an Arya. Only thing is we have to take a lot of trouble uh, to study the suttas again and again. And